Hi there, for this reading it's going to be um, spirit animals that are going to be in your energy. It could be now, it could be within the next couple of weeks. So again, um, week to two weeks, I would say two weeks, okay? And it also might be spirit animals or angels, depending if I get something come through. I've already got Archangel Michael for this group, um, for your sign. So, um whatever I get channeled through, it goes along with your seven to 10 day readings. So your 10 day readings and the energy check-ins that I do and the bonus reads as well. So um, the spirit animal that I'm actually feeling for you is I've got, there's definitely the horse because I feel there's a sense of action. But I also feel some of you are like old souls. There's a shamanic energy that I'm feeling needs to come out. Um, in this read and some wisdom um, let's pull out the horse I was going to say as well the owl so I'm going to pull that out because of the wiseness um, the owl, the horse uh, the black panther the black panther or the there's another tiger one in this deck that's quite shamanic. I'm not sure if it's the white something. It's like a tiger or something. One second, but I want the Black Panther. Obviously, if I'm called tomorrow, it's a, a, a um, snow leopard. Black Panther. Okay. So here we've got three energies of animals, okay, that I really feel are significant with messages for you this week. I already kind of have a message that I want to go into, so um, I'm not really sure if I need to pull tarot, but I will do just to add on to the messages because I feel like I would already channel um, additional messages, please, for additional messages. You can always check your top placements and always refer to your weekly readings as well in case you've missed any messages, the collective reads and the timeless theme reads, whether it's love, uh, whether it's guidance on career finance money. I did one recently on that very, very significant energy still. So that's why I've not done another one, but I might do. Okay, so I'm just going to go with what we've got. We've got the lovers last, which can be about choices. Really what we've been working on, uh, where I feel like action, and it's interesting, I feel like they're falling under the animals. Um, definitely, I think some of you in this pile, um, there's energies around love here. There's energies of, I've been working on a relationship or my commitments um, and my choices towards certain things in life um, maybe not been planning out as fast as, as, fast as I want um, or freeing me in terms of what I've actually been working on and it's still prolonged but here we see that through choices we are able to find that stability that union if it's love that um, step further in a marriage or a union there's definitely something about choices here, but there is movement going forward and there's going to be a celebration. And I do feel that with the animal spirits. Before I read what's on the card, I just want to channel what I've got. So really, freedom is yours. And we can see it in these cards where you felt tied and tied down. It's like maybe you got to a stage where I've been working really, really hard. And now I'm kind of like, I'm not getting anywhere. So you're procrastinating. Only some of you. Or you're putting limitations to yourself because you've not seen things work out. Um, you're breaking away from society's frameworks or what people might have thought you are in terms of maybe you then deciding to sing your own song, go down your own route. Um, and so you also breaking away from people's projections and it's time to go towards your dreams, your passions with full force. There's divine guidance that are guiding you towards your dream and it's time to expand that awareness. 
we can see that with the cards and i think this is why i felt these animals were significant for you here if you look at these animals an owl a horse and a black jaguar or black panther i said black panther and i think there's only a black you know black jaguar in this deck so it's significance um there's no fear here in these animals and you cannot have fear holding you back because you are being protected and there's something about listening to your own intuition listening to the beat of your heart your own gut and it is nudging you as well now some of you have been feeling like it's nudged me i'm doing it i'm really not getting anywhere but there's going to be a parachute forward with the horse as well these two cards says this is maybe a time where you've been tested in terms of your soul growth and your soul purpose as well even if it doesn't mean changing your career some people get a bit um panicky when they hear soul purpose like you've got to do a 360 degree chain uh degree okay some of you might uh, changing your career degree but it's not about that it's about what what fills your cup uh, look beyond people's frameworks what society what your love what your family what people around you know of you what they want of you listen to the words clearly and look at the actions that you take look at the actions that you want Look at what you want for your life. Um, an owl is always wise. It beats at night. And so does this. The, the, the horse is very, these are very earthly, by the way. This is air. Very earthly. Divine feminine as well is here. Choosing love. And I kept this, this open because I meant to. I choose love no matter what and it's coming through emerge from a cocoon that you might have put yourself in recognize your own unique and you need to go down what you're being called to go down even if you've been trying to go down it and you are not um, seeing fruition keep going recognize you're loved and protected remember in the beginning i said archangels come archangel michael um and actually here here we are. This is Archangel Michael. He's here. So I was absolutely correct that I was already feeling Archangel Michael in your energy. And, and the tarot has confirmed it. So you're protected. Archangel Michael is an archangel. It's not just an angel. With the owl, there's magic here. Choose to know your truth because you can. Open your vision. You can see through the deception of anything. People's BS, society, frameworks, whatever you've been cocooned into. Let the past go and make room for a better life. Rise up. Magic and wisdom are your birthright. The horse, the freedom of being tied down, the freedom of now feeling I need to procrastinate or I am because I have not seen the movement or I feel down and depressed. Your heart is pure and free. There's something about your throat chakra as well. Because I was saying, sing your song. This card is pulling me. Walk away. Let go of the past. Enough. Don't fear that either. You've got unlimited reserves of stamina and strength. You can do this. You follow the winds of change and accomplish your dreams. This can be anything. Okay, so don't tie it in with what you're getting only from my message. Tie it with how it applies to you. The black jaguar, the old soul, soul, the shaman that I was feeling. The shamanic energy around you that I'm feeling. Walk life with confidence and grace. Yes, the freedom of the horse is confident. The owl is confident. They don't show their fear. You have power beyond the world. Focus on what you really want. You create your dreams. Can you see how they all tie in with each other? You've got a way of knowing. I know this reading is a bit short, but I'm going to leave it here. I love how I've channeled these animal energies, the archangel for you, and everything has tied up beautifully. 
So I hope this resonated for you. If it did, please do like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, beautiful souls. Take care and bye for now.